Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. doing Al I don't think I'm gonna make it can I I don't think I'm gonna make it sure you will Al you just take it easy oh no not again I I can't stand any more of it I, I just can't stand any more take it easy Al don't let it get you we're okay so long as we stay in here Look, Ken, we're trapped. We'll never get out of here. Not alive, anyway. Keep quite still. Whatever you do, don't make a sound. Try once again, Lieutenant 90, and use the Neutroni transmitter. If there's anyone alive up there, we should get an immediate answer. Yes, sir. Fireball XL2, this is Space City. Do you hear me? Over. Nothing, sir. <laughs> Steve, try it. No, thanks. It may have been the rage a hundred years ago, but it's not for me. This is the twist! Are you still getting the distress signal? Yes, sir. Still coming from the surface of planet Monotane. Lieutenant 90, send for Steve Zodiac. Have Fireball XL5 made ready for immediate launching. Yes, sir. Certainly is tiring. People must have been really tough in those days. Oh, answer it, Steve, will you please? Steve Zodiac here. I want you over here right away. We have an emergency. Okay, Commander. What's wrong, Steve? Looks like we're off on an important mission, Venus. As I say, we've been out of touch with XL2 for several hours now, and then we got this emergency transmission. As you know, Steve, it's an automatic transmitter that comes on when anything is wrong. That's the position it's coming from? Why, that's the planet Monotane. That's right. Professor Maddock is already in Fireball XL5. He was here when the alert went out. Now, how soon can you be ready for blast away? What do you say, Venus? Uh, about an hour? We should make it by then, Steve. Okay, an hour it is. <laughs> Well, 
This is the part that gets me most of all. We've set course for Monotain, and now we just have to wait. I make the most of it, Steve. My guess is there'll be plenty of action when we get there. True enough. Say, Venus, where's Lazoon? I hope you don't mind, Steve, but I've put him in the control cabin with Robert. In the control cabin with Robert? Don't worry, they have a lovely time together. They spend hours amusing each other. Is there one a six a two a zero red? There one six two zero red. Is there one a six a two a zero red? There one six two zero red. Steve, I, I wonder how the crew of XL2 are doing at this moment. There were just two of them on that reconnaissance mission. Al Stomper and Ken Johnson. Both great guys. Let's hope they're still alive. Well, Steve, I... I don't know about you, but I'm going to bed. Yes, me too. I feel kind of restless. I think I'll just stay up for a while. Well, there's one advantage of being in space. No day and no night. So at least we can go to bed and get up when we feel like it. Could have used that situation when I was a kid. Boy, how I used to hate going to bed. Well, I have to get a lot of sleep to keep me beautiful. Well, I'm just tired. See you later. Yeah, me too. Eh, uh, good night, Steve. Space, one of the most exciting ventures of man to date. But it can also be dark and mysterious and very lonely. I just hope those guys are okay. XL5 should have been in contact with us long before now. How many check calls have you made, Lieutenant 90? Five, sir. Try again. Fireball XL5, this is Space City calling. Do you hear me? Over. I don't understand it, sir. You don't suppose... We don't suppose anything in this outfit, Lieutenant. I know what you're thinking, that XL5 may have met the same fate as XL2. Well, maybe so. But for the moment, just keep on checking every few minutes. Yes, sir. I'll have the Neutroni transmitter checked. That, Lieutenant 90, is the first sensible thing you've said today. Space City, this is Fireball XL5 calling. Do you hear me? And about time. Fireball XL5, Space City here, receiving you clearly. I've been trying to contact you during the last hour. Are you in trouble? Space City from Fireball XL5. No, everything's just fine. We're approaching Monotane. We'll shortly be going into orbit. We did pass through a heavy curtain of meteorites a while back. That could have upset the Newtoni transmissions. Roger, Steve. Relieved you're OK. Keep in touch and report as soon as you have any news on XL2. And tell him no heroics. Oh, uh, and Steve, a message from Commander Zero. Yeah, I can guess. No heroics. Tell him I'll be a good boy as usual. Over and out. Well, sir, he's OK. Of course he's okay. What did you expect? Steve Zodiac's the best space pilot we've got. Yes, sir. And lieutenant. Yes, sir. And you're the best lieutenant I've got. Yes, sir. to release Fireball Junior. Is Robert in the central control cabin, Professor? Uh, yes, Steve, I am. Uh, I just saw his light go up. OK, we're off then. We'll keep in touch. Good luck, Steve. Safety belt fastened? Safety belt fastened. And here we go. Switch on detection apparatus, Venus. OK, Steve. That's it. 
Now we'll search the surface of monotane. If XL2 is down there, its special metal will register on the detector. Space City to Fireball XL5. Commander Zero. Say, Professor Maddock, have you heard anything from Steve yet? Uh, no, Commander. Not for a while. The last time he called up, he was uh, around the other side of Monotane. But still hadn't discovered anything. Okay, Matt. Give me a call as soon as you hear. Uh, sure, Commander. Fireball Junior. Professor Maddock calling. Uh, Steve, have you found anything yet? Commander Zero is getting kind of anxious. Nothing yet. I wish something would happen, Steve. I don't like this. Steve, that must be it. We must have located XL2. Keep your eyes peeled, Venus. It should be around somewhere. Hold tight, Venus. Something's hit us and we're going out of control. <laughs> Steve, what's happened? What's happened? I don't know, Venus, but just hold on. We're, we're going to crash. Okay, we're down. Yes, and in one piece. But, Steve, what hit us? I don't know. I'll call the professor, and then we'll get out and investigate. Get the jetmobiles ready, will you, Venus? Okay, Steve. Calling Fireball XL5 from Fireball Junior. Over. There's no reply. I guess the crash must have wrecked the radio gear. It's, a, it's about time Steve called up again. Haven't heard for a while. Venus, look. No one could have got out of that alive. How terrible. What's that? I don't know. It's getting louder. I'm scared, Steve. Sounds like some sort of electrical storm, but it seems to be approaching so rapidly. Venus, quick. There's a cave over there. Let's get in quickly before the storm breaks. Why don't we go back to Fireball Junior? I don't like the sound of it, Venus. I figure it'll be safer on the side of a mountain. Come on. Shoot, Steve, don't shoot. Ken. Ken Johnson. Boy, am I glad to see you. Where's Al? Uh, he's pretty sick, Steve. But what happened? How did you know we were in the cave? We didn't, Ken. But something hit us in Fireball Junior. And then we heard the same noise after we landed. And we ran here for shelter. Yeah, and here we all are. Yeah, the same happened to us, but we weren't so lucky. Our ship crashed. I hate to tell you this, folks. But you walk straight into a trap. What do you mean? Look at the cave entrance and you'll see what I mean. Sure, I'm glad we've got a space doctor here. Hey, she's pretty too. Yeah, Al's in good hands. But what gives with this monster, Ken? I can't tell you much, Steve, but that's what hit you in Fireball Junior. That thing's got a neck as high as a skyscraper. I guess we're safe in here, but somehow we've got to get out. Well, I've given him something to relieve the pain for the moment, but we must get him back to Fireball Junior pretty soon. Even if we do get out of here, there's nothing to say that Fireball Junior will still be in one piece. Hey, what's going on?
far, so good. Look as much as you like, baby, but just don't hurt it. To think, Steve, he could crush it just like an egg. Hey, Venus, contact the professor on the Jetmobile radio. Tell him to stay right where he is. If that brute destroyed Fireball, it would be our last hope gone. Calling Fireball XL5. Venus here. Do you hear me? Over. Any luck? Not yet, Steve. I think the radio's dead. Calling Steve Zodiac in Fireball Junior. Did you hear me, Steve? Over. I don't like this. Something must be wrong. I can't get them to answer. Better check with Space City. Calling Space City. Professor Maddock here, XL5. Come in, Matthew. Zero here. I'm getting kind of worried, Commander. I can't get any reply from Steve in Fireball Junior. Guess they must have run into some sort of trouble. Well, all you can do is keep on trying, Matt. Nope. I'm going after them, Commander. Now, Matthew, you know the regulations. It don't give me that, Commander. My guess is you do the same. Why, I remember the time in space pioneer days when you... Okay, that's enough, Matt. Have it your own way. But uh, I know nothing about it, okay? And uh, off the record, Matthew. Good luck. Thanks, Commander. Over and out. Okay, Robert. Change to landing procedure. Code 22 is zero green. Understand the code 22 is zero green. Now, we all agree that our only chance to save Al is to get into Fireball, right? Check. So, what I've got to do is to get to Fireball Junior, rejoin her to Fireball, and then destroy the monster. Right. Check. Now, it should get dark on this side of the planet in a few hours' time. That's when I'll get my best chance. Our best chance. I'm coming with you. I wish I could come too, Steve, but I guess I should stay with Al. Well, now that's settled. Maybe we should try and get a little sleep. We're going to need all our energy in a few hours' time. Yeah, nothing yet. dark side. It makes it more difficult to search. Hey, wait a minute. There it is. I can see Fireball Jr. Hey, Robert, land immediately. Position 620 Black. Roger, understand a 620 Black. Sounds like it. It sounds like a spaceship. Oh, it can be. I must be dreaming. I just don't understand this at all. The wreckage of XL2 and Fireball Jr. intact and yet no one around. There's something mighty strange going on. No, I don't like this at all. I, uh, I got a strange feeling I'm being watched. <laughs> Okay, hold it. Don't move. What goes on? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, hi there, folks. Uh, I just came down to see if I could be of any help. <laughs> None too friendly, is he?
Ken, have you tried using your coma ray gun against the monster? Yep, but it's just not powerful enough. The ones in Fireball Jr. would probably do it, though. I'll make my way over on foot. Well, what about me? I'm going with you, Steve. No, Ken, it's better if you cover me from here. If the monster wakes up, fire your ray gun. Maybe the light will blind him long enough for me to make it. Well, I guess so, Steve, but for Pete's sake, be careful. the ray gun quickly. This one's failed. Ken, it's running away. It sure is. I don't get it. What's happened? What's going on? Look, Professor. Luzun, my wonderful Luzun. He saved the day. I still don't get it. Well, you see, Luzun always imitates sounds he hears. And the monster obviously thought it was one of his fellow creatures and has run off to join it. Well, we'd better get out of here before he returns. He might be kind of disappointed when he finds out he hasn't got a buddy after all. OK, Professor. You and Venus bring Al back to the ship. I'll get Steve, and then let's beat it out of here. Well, I feel kind of foolish with this crazy plaster on my foot. <laughs> Some hero I turned out to be. I guess you did a sight better than me, Steve. All I've got to look forward to is a, a lecture from Commander Zero and disobeying regulations. Well, I think you're both wonderful. Well, let's face it, the real hero of the day is that funny little Lazoon of yours, Venus. I promise I won't complain about him anymore. Robert, set course for home. 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 I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter. 
and maybe very soon we'd cruise along the Milky Way and land upon the moon to a wonderland of stardust. We'll zoom away to Mars. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball, 'cause you would be my Venus of the stars. 